Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on the first official character details we have for the Walking Dead companion series that should be airing next year on AMC. All right, so this one was released by TV Line, so it should be legit, and uh, we have some descriptions for the characters that we're going to be seeing, at least in the pilot for the Walking Dead Companion series, should be starting next year, so it should be some fun. Um, the thing I like about these right here, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, we have six character descriptions, um, so we get a kind of a sense of what we're going to be seeing in terms of our, our initial group, or initial surviving group of characters and they all seem pretty much unique except for one um, there is a character in this called Andrea uh, Andrea Chapman so yes another Andrea uh, and it says the description for her is a somewhat wilted flower child 40 something Andrea yep another Andrea uh, has uh, retreated to the outskirts of a city to recover after a horrible uh, marriage. So wouldn't that be cool if the reason why they're using the name Andrea is because they're taking another stab at the comic book series version of Andrea. That, that almost sounds to me like what we're looking at is that we're going to see an actual comic book series version of her in a TV series because those of you guys who know who have read the comic book series, the version we got in the initial Walking Dead uh, series is not that close to the, co the actual comic book version from the, from the AMC TV series. So it's, you know, the Andrea from that didn't really match up to the comic book Andrea in a lot of ways, at least in terms of surviving and in terms of what happened in the long run. So it sounds to me like maybe based on the name and hopefully they're going to take another stab at an Andrea character and we're going to be seeing an Andrea like in the comic books, got the figure up there, um, in, the t in the new TV series. Uh, of course, though, Rick obviously won't be in the show. So, you know, um, spoilers for the comic book series, her and Rick end up getting married later on. Uh, in the comic book series, which is pretty cool. So we couldn't have any kind of dynamic like that, but maybe if we had, you know, just her character in the show it, with a different name, maybe not exactly the same, but maybe with the sniper skills and that, I think it'd be kind of a cool nod to the comic books because we never really got to see that. Um, yeah, so there's one. Uh, the other five are we have a Sean Cabrera, uh, says a Latino male in his early 40s. Sean is a good man trying to do right by everyone in his life. By the way, uh, these will all be in the description and the link will be as well too, so you guys can read them. Um, yeah, so it sounds like he's, so early 40s, Latino male, um, trying to do the right thing. Okay, so he sounds like he's gonna be, you know, one of those, maybe he'll be the lead character for the series, I would, I would kind of think. Um, doesn't really sound much like Rick. I mean, obviously Rick's not Latino or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I'm thinking somewhere along the lines of, of that same kind of good guy, leader type character with, with that character right there. Unless they throw us through a loop, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, he does have a son, um, and his name is Cody Cabrera, and it says, Sean's whip-smart and rebellious teenage son, known as the angriest kid in town. So, um, hmm, cool. So his teenage, yeah, teenager smart, rebellious teenager. So yeah, angry, angry kid. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I'm not getting, I, I don't know, I'm not really getting a Rick Carl vibe there just because they, you know, you have a father son. So that sounds pretty cool for him. I'm interested to see how they handle that. And there's actually a few teenagers in this one. There's three. So that's the first one. Next we have, uh, next character is Nancy Tompkins, a 30 something single mom with two kids. Nancy looks like the girl next door, but there's an edge to her. So I, I take it from that girl next door. That means she's going to be visually attractive, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess. Um, or they're going to pick an actress that is, I would think. Um, and then she'll have two teenage uh, or two kids. Uh, Nick Tompkins, who's going to be Nancy's screwed up teenage son. So another teenager son. Uh, he's too old to stay home, too scared to flee. So it sounds like he's kind of uh, one of those you know, scaredy cat type characters that tries to hide, you know, all the time, that type of thing. Um, hmm, so another teenager. Then we have an additional one on top of that, which is Ashley Tompkins, her other child, uh, Nancy's mostly level-headed teenage daughter. Uh, her ambition is in direct proportion to her older brother's failures. She loves her mom, but it's time to get out of Dodge. Hmm. I don't know, so maybe they've 
maybe maybe that family has been cooped up inside some kind of house hiding for a while and she's getting tired of it and she's deciding that she wants to go ahead and uh you know take some risks and get out there a little bit in the zombie apocalypse world so i guess we'll see how that goes so those are our characters so the six to to recap uh sean sounds like the lead good guy so to speak his son cody who's a rebellious teenager, angry kid. Um, Nancy, who's another single parent, you know, so you have two single parents, right? Um, she, it sounds like to me, with the girl next door thing, will be probably attractive, that type of thing. Um, Nick, one of her kids, uh, scared kid. Ashley, uh, you know, female, but sounds like she's more um, of a tough survivor than Nick, which is kind of interesting because uh, she's female. Of course, we see a lot of badass female characters in uh, The Walking Dead, so that's cool, like Carol and Andrea from the comic book series. Then finally, another Andrea character who uh, could be totally different from that. I mean, we don't know right off the bat. I mean, I say that, like what I've said earlier about her being hopefully like the comic book series version, that might not necessarily be the case. I guess we'll have to see. So, um, Sounds pretty cool. It says afterwards with two middle-aged women and a middle-aged man plus two teenage boys and a teenage girl in the mix. Let the uh, shipper wars begin, it says. Um, hmm. So that sounds pretty interesting. So I'm interested to see where they're going to go with it. Um, they're not that ma- that mix up of having you know half of the half of the crew being teenagers i don't know that's that's different that's different so that's good uh, i heard i believe it's happening in uh kansas i think they're doing this one i don't know so um ah hopefully we'll see some kind of cityscape or something uh and hopefully it'll be a lot different from the original so but you guys have heard my thoughts on the series you know i've done a few videos on it at this point and what i'm hoping to see so let me know what you guys think about this one and what you think about the character descriptions uh which characters you're intrigued by if any or if just not at all if you don't like the idea of having half of them being teenagers and having a couple single parents with another uh 40 something year old thrown in there as well uh huh i i don't know it's a, it's an interesting mix i think for a for a zombie apocalypse survivor uh series so i guess we'll see how it goes but i am intrigued and i am interested it sounds good to me so definitely different from what we're used to uh even though the father-son thing kind of does feel a little bit like the rick carl thing a little bit but i guess we'll have to see how it plays out in the trailer and everything to kind of get a better understanding of where they're going with that and what the ages are because when we first met carl he was really young right so yeah i guess we'll see what happens let me know what you guys think about that. And if you like the video, please thumb it up below. Please like it. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. Check out the description if you guys want to read each one for yourself. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. As always, it's Trev. Stand peace.